Hello everyone and welcome back to the fourth tutorial of the course Angular 6 dashboard using material design. In this tutorial we will create our first Angular application. So in order to create a new Angular application we need to open our command prompt and then we need to type ng new application name. So for example if first type is your application name then you need to type ng new first hyphen app. So let's create our first application by typing ng new first hyphen app. Now once you hit enter, Angular CLI will start creating few files and will start installing few modules for us. So while Angular CLI is doing all that, you can sit back and relax. Now one thing if you have noticed, we have opened this command prompt inside C drive but still Angular CLI is working. So how this is happening? Now this is happening because if you remember while we were installing Angular CLI we have passed in flag hyphen G which meant install Angular CLI globally and that's why it is available for us inside D drive as well. Now if we try to execute any ng command Angular CLI will be available for us because we have asked npm to install angular cli globally angular cli finished creating a project for us now so let's take a look inside the folder so this is the folder that angular cli just created for us if you go inside this folder you will see there are few directories and few files. So now we are not going into the details about what those directories are. But if you want me to explain the project structure, let me know in the comment section. And I will try to create a separate video wherein we will cover the project structure and little bit of testing framework, which is in this case Jasmine. So we have our project ready. Now how do we run it? So in order to run this project, we need to type ng serve. So let's type in this command. So first let's move inside the project. Okay. So from here, if you type ng serve, and hit enter your project will start getting built and it will get deployed so if you type ng serve it will build and serve the applications it also rebuild and redeploy the application on file changes so if you change something and if you save it you don't need to redeploy the application if your if your server is running it will detect the changes and it will deploy the application for you Okay, so our application is deployed. Now where do we check this? So to view the application, we need to open the browser and we need to go to this localhost 4200 port. Now 4200 is the default port on which Angular CLI deploys the application for us. Okay, so I have opened the browser and typed the URL. Now once I hit this, our application should show up and there it is so this is the application which we just created and this is the name which we passed in so there you go you have your first angular application running so from next tutorial we will add the dashboard and the material design capabilities to our application so see you guys in the next tutorial